I was hired by Caleb Bach, who was the director in 1980, to come be on staff. Uh, there was a staff of four at the time. Uh, the ranch was really still basically the working ranch buildings. It was um, very funky and there were no trees. It was a, a leftover working ranch that had been bought in the 60s to turn into a ski area. I was uh, hired to run ceramics. Uh, so I ran ceramics for four years. I took over just the beginning of summer in 1984 and I became director a couple months later. Uh, I also went on the board after that and I've done visiting artist projects, which have been fantastic. Great support for that and teaching. Through that long history of working at the ranch, I en have ended up working in all the different buildings here. So I've worked in the digital lab, the print lab, uh, in the ceramics lab, I use the sculpture facility and I've used the wood facilities. <laughs> it's a perfect place for me to come work because of the variety of materials that are available and the openness of the studio managers to allow you to come in with different projects. I do work in multiple materials and I think my work all comes from the same general idea of uh, patterning and growth. Quite often the new work I don't know where it's coming from, and maybe a few years later, I'll figure out how I got there from previous spots. So I was figuring out later. I don't know if there's a beginning and end. I'm always in the middle of it. There's work in the beginning and end, but the creative process just seems to be continuous. I quite often make things that I don't know where they're gonna end. There's a lot of experimentation, and I'm rather impetuous, so I just uh, don't let things dry fast enough. I just work. I just have to work fast. So that's part of my process. My work specifically is not necessarily inspired by other people's work so much as like someone like uh, Miles Davis is an inspiration and the inspiration is that he has such a, he had such a long career and he kept evolving, the work kept evolving, he kept pushing the boundaries. One of the things that I like to see when I have work in a gallery or I show a presentation is that the work generates many different responses. I'm not trying to make a specific statement. It's more about a broader kind of uh, open-ended experience that somebody brings to the piece. The complexity that's in our being, just the physical layers of systems and this dynamic thing that we are is so complicated. My work, I want to kind of catch that complicatedness of our being of the environment, of the ecosystem. What gets me going in the morning to create is, uh, it's, it's a job, you know? Uh, many people think it's a pleasure always to get up as an artist and go to work, and quite often it's literally a job you have to go do. I think ideas are a dime a dozen in the arts. It's the execution that makes or breaks a person in the arts. I look at the creative energy I have a, an image in my head about that, and there's a, an arrow with a long tail, and the art is the, the tip of that arrow. The craft is kind of right behind it, all the skills you use, and this long, long tail of the arrow is the work. So that creative thing that most people think artists are always into is a very small part, and they are truly sometimes a second. A second can turn into 10 years' work. So it's about work, and it's just a drive to try and get that creative idea manifest.